Sahalaya Anderson may have lost the physical location of her martial arts school in a heartbreaking fire during the Long Beach protests May 31, but she hasn't lost her warrior spirit. I will rise like a phoenix, she told me last week, referring to the bird in Greek mythology which rises from its ashes to be reborn. I have to move forward and start again. Anderson, a black woman and graduate of Poly High School, has received an outpouring of support from the Long Beach community near her school at 120 W 7th Street just west of Pine Avenue. Downtown. She also received a big boost from a complete stranger to 132 miles in Allendale, Michigan, a small college town west of Grand Rapids. Marie Hosep, a white 20-year-old student at Grand Valley State University, wanted to do something to help people whose businesses were damaged following protests over the killing of George Floyd, a black man, by a white police officer who knelt on Floyd's neck in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I asked Hosep why she selected Anderson to help out of all the businesses that had been damaged across the nation. I learned about Sahalaya's loss from Twitter, where somebody had posted screenshots of her Facebook posts talking about her building burning, Hosep said. I decided to help Sahalaya with a GoFundMe account simply because she was the first person I saw that needed help, and her story just really touched me. At first, Anderson said she was skeptical of the account because she didn't know Hosep. But Hosep called Anderson and the two made a strong connection. The initial account goal was $100,000, but the account has reached $134,000 and the goal has been raised to $250,000, Hosep said. Almost 7,000 people have donated to Anderson from all over the United States and the world, including Kenya, England and Japan. I am so grateful for what Marie has done, Anderson said. It's been overwhelming. Anderson was born in June, 1980 in Brooklyn, New York where her father was a teacher in martial arts. He moved his family, including Zahalaya and her older two brothers and a sister, to Long Beach where he opened the Urban School of Self-Defense in 1995. When she was 15, Zahalaya started training at her father's school and took over as sole proprietor when her father left the school in 2010. Since that time she has been inducted into the Martial Arts Masters Hall of Fame and has built her dojo, a Japanese word for place of learning or meditation, into a popular martial arts training center. She said her students range in age, from a 3-year-old warrior to an 84-year-old woman who gets around pretty good. The school had been closed since March because of the coronavirus crisis, but Anderson was preparing to reopen sometime this month as restrictions began to be lifted. I was getting ready for the relaunch on May 31st when the protests started, she said. I was at the school, but the protests were peaceful so I went home about 6.30 pm.